Knowledge CTV, and I'm here with. Yo, it's Cash Madoff. It's good. Now, Cash, where you from? Gateway, Far Rockaway, Queens. Or well, New York for people that's not from around this area. Be here in my block, Gateway. ABC buildings. And what's your best memory out there? I mean, a whole lot went on out there, so it's like hard to choose from, you know? But I'ma just say Gateway Day. It used to be a day, it was like a block party on my block every year. We don't really do it no more, but yeah, that was, that was our best memories, was that Gateway Day. And what did y'all do on Gateway Day? I mean, it was a whole lot. They used to, you know, do a lot for the community. There was a lot of rappers that used to come, like, you know, stack bundles. Rest in peace, Core 2 G's. Change Drugs, Rest in Peace, um, Bino, the whole Riot Squad, Mike Mills. They used to come and perform. It was people that used to dance, do step. It was food, barbecues. Like, they used to, I remember one year they had a pony out there, you know, riding the kids around on the pony. <laughs> You know what I mean? So it was just good times, you know, summertime things. One day a year, the whole block come out and actually have some fun. Describe your childhood. <laughs> Dangerous. It's <laughs> the best way to describe it, man. Um, I don't know if you have to be a little more specific with that one. Like, you know how it was growing up, you know? I mean, it was pretty crazy schools. in Fall Rock. Um, it was different, like, a lot going on. You know? Well, he was wild. Far Rock is wild. That's what it was known to be. So it was a little crazy growing up. But you know, you know, I enjoyed it. We had fun growing up. Besides all the, uh, the police harassment. <laughs> you know, besides that, we had a lot of fun. Who do you listen to other than yourself? Um, that's a long list. I mostly listen to old shit. I like, I like a lot of old stuff. Like, you know, Stag, of course, Stag is one of them. Always listen to Stag. Change, rest in peace. Um, lately, I've been listening to a lot of, you know, like Future and <laughs> Nipsey Hustle. I like Nipsey for some reason. I fuck with Nipsey shit. Um, you know, there's a couple of artists out there. The mixtape scene doing their thing. I like to listen to, you know, underground people too. Like, you know, shout out Cap, Cap City doing his thing out there. Um, a few people from the rock, King Streets, Dave East, a few people like that. Yeah, mostly I fuck with Stack. I listen to a lot of Stack shit. I don't know why, I just keep listening to the same songs over and over. What songs? Lost in the Rock. Um, he had a couple where I don't even know the name. They was on mixtapes. I just I just put them shits on shuffle. They already on my phone. I let them go. Word. What was the most depressing time of your life, and how did you overcome it? Wow, that's a deep one. Um, I mean, I can say when I was a kid. You know, my mom's passed away when I was six. So by overcoming that, you just blank it out. I'm saying, just try to break it out at least. So like my whole life, I just avoided the whole mother situations. You know, I see Mother's Day, I hated Mother's Day, but started to treat my dad like that. So I would just bring him home stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like he was mommy and daddy. So my mom's passed when I was younger. Rest in peace to her. Um, and yeah, that was it. Do you work at the moment? Yeah, actually, I'm into right now. Do construction on the side, renovating nursing homes and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm real good with my hands and shit, do everything, actually, electrical, plumbing, all that. So yeah, that's the side hustle right now, besides music. Okay, and how did you get into that field? By uh, actually just, I went to school for it. I went and got my GED, got my electrical trade certificate, and um, I just went from there, hit the ground running after that. Do you feel it's worth it? It's worth it. Like going to get your electrical license? Oh yeah, it definitely was. It teaches you a lot. You know, you get a lot of side work like that. It's good money on the side. What projects do you have out at the moment? Right now I got Eat the World out. Um, I got a lot of singles out. You can just look me up, Cash Madoff, on almost 
any platform of music. Um, but East the World, that, that's the project I just let out recently, uh, Christmas Eve. So you can look that up on everything, Spotify, Amazon, and all that stuff. What are you working on right now? Right now we're working on um, Idlewild Airport. That's uh, that that'll be my next mixtape, and um, I got another project coming called No Free Verses, where every every track will be just a sixteen. And um, yeah, you can look those up on all forms of of music platforms. Who do you work with? Like, who's your producer? You know, rappers, other rappers that you work with. My producers, um, Contra, aka Original. Original Music Mark of OMC and um, I work with a long list of rappers um, Josiah Hotwire shout outs to him, Cap City um, Free That Boy Lucky, That Boy Lucky um, my boy uh, Boulevard, Juxa Bill Butter Bills um, damn I got it couple in there that I might be missing out on right now. I think I got a track with Days Eastwood. Um, Contra, of course, we got we got a couple songs off on Eat the World right now. We got two songs, Foreign, and then, um, what's the other one? Uh, fuck the Judge, fuck the DA. <laughs> um, what else? Who else? I'm missing a couple people, but, um, Oh, Goldie, shout outs to Goldie. Shout outs to uh, Lodi Stone, AKA LSG, Oz. Yeah, I work with a, a long list of rappers. You, you're gonna see more features coming in the, in the future too. What are some tips that you'll give somebody that wants to start rapping? Have a good money supply. <laughs> this ain't cheap, man. Um, focus up and you know, find a good engineer and you be straight. It's all about the production. That's how I see it, at least. Um, besides that, uh, keep writing. <laughs> Just keep writing, don't stop. Now explain why you said get your money up. Like, some people need to know. Well, you gotta pay for studio time. You gotta pay to get your your song mix, mix and mastered. You might have to pay for the beat. You can't just go steal a beat from anyone. That might turn into an ugly situation if your song does take off. Um, you gotta pay for merchandise, you gotta pay for promotion, you gotta pay for production. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot, it's a lot to deal with at once. What are your final words for our viewers? Hey! Yo, go, go look up the next mixtape, man. It's gonna be called Idlewild Airport. It's gonna be on all platforms, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, YouTube, SoundCloud. It's gonna be everywhere. Now let's see TV. We go. Peace.